Welcome back to my lair, everyone. I just wanted to give everybody a quick weekly update. So if we look at the tip of my tweezers here, we can see that on this mum that I potted up for you guys on a previous video, I have my fourth leaf coming up. And I also have a root that you can see through the cup here. I'm really glad that I got the see-through cups for this instead of the solo cups. And here, I'm going to show you guys not only my most impressive tomato that I have, it's Nebraska Wedding, but also pretty much my most average Nebraska Wedding tomato. Just to show a difference here, because the product that you guys are going to get, honestly, it's not, you guys aren't going to get these tomatoes because the three or four that I have that are just too darn big, I'm going to pot them up and I'm going to use them myself, honestly. Um, but what I will show you with my six inch steel rule here is we are at just about five inches today, a little less. That's quite impressive. Uh, I, I'm kind of shocked at how quickly this one is actually growing. Here I have my Walla Walla onion starts, and just real quick here, we see we've got one shoot right here in between the tweezers that's got two sets of leaves on it. And why that's important is that tells me that this onion has started making a bulb. And that also tells me that the timers in my nursery are set that all my plants think that it's springtime in my house, which is pretty cool. Alright guys, so next up we've actually got one of my example coleus plants that I planted on January 10th. And if we look kind of close, these leaves are kind of yellowing. And I can tell you what that is, is that's actually because they're so close to the soil level. And when this was potted up, they were in contact with the soil. So it's kind of, well, it's really just like a tomato plant if you just come in and these bottom two leaves right here. We're just going to clip them off. I'm, I don't know if it's fungal. I don't know what it is. All I know is the bottom two leaves on the vast majority of my plants usually get clipped off, and it's because of this. And I'll tell you right now, this thing is going to be completely unaffected by this. It's still going to grow straight up. We, it hasn't. It's not even going to make it bush up anymore. It's just going to clean it up a little bit is all it's really doing, and it's brother, sister, whatever you want to call it over here. I, I already did it a couple of days ago with this one because it needed it. And as you can see, it's still growing just fine. It's part of the mint family. These things, honestly, they grow better when you're kind of clipping away at them every now and then. Um, after that, and this is actually labeled with my initials to indicate that this is going to be mine because this is my most impressive jalapeno M seedling right now and I thought I'd show him off. His second set of leaves is just coming up. Our seed leaves are still holding on. They're still probably producing at least some sugars so I'm not going to clip those off yet. I'm just going to honestly I wait until they turn yellow and I come in and clip them off and most people don't even clip them off. I just think it's better for the plant because the next step is actually going to be my crassula that I want to show off. I've been working with it for about a month. I started with 17 starts, and I'm down to 9, so I think these ones are going to make it. But these one, these are going to be available at the farmer's market when they're mature enough, which is honestly going to be probably be another, could be another 6 months. So we're not going to hold our breath, but you guys are going to get to hear all about it. Um, aside from that, I guess my next video, I'm going to do a deep dive on how I run my nursery, or shall I say Thunderdome. Um, I've got a really interesting technique of thinning my plants that nobody taught to me. I just kind of figured it out by accident and it's served me well this entire year and I think you guys are going to really like it. So I guess without further ado, thank you so much for showing up and deciding to listen to me talk. Um, really do appreciate it. If you would, hit like, hit subscribe. Tell your friends please too, seriously. I know these are just corny little videos done in my living room but I mean with enough support I could actually do something kind of cool with this and I'm kind of like to do that so any help is appreciated have a good one